Hey guys, welcome to another episode about MQTT. So in our previous episode I showed you how to install Mosquito server and how to do some basic configurations. And of course how to connect to it from your Android phone, uh, from your uh, PC using MQTT Explorer and using command line. But for today we are going to make one step further and I'm going to show you how to create credentials. How to create users that are going to provide their usernames and password in order to access your broker. So first thing that you're going to do, uh, navigate to uh, Etsy Mosquito and check what you have in uh, this uh, directory. So in order to uh, create credentials you have to create one file that is going to store your usernames and passwords. And for that I'm going to uh, create uh, file uh, let's call it uh, users.conf okay I have to provide command sudo now let's see what we have in here so uh, we have our users.conf and now I'm going to open that file uh, using nano sudo nano users.conf Conf. So basically how you are going to create users, you are going to provide username, for example John, then column and at the end you are going to provide password, let's say 4 times 0 Then I'm going to create another one, Mick, also with password of 4 times 0 And when that is done, save this and exit from this file Let's see what we have in our file now I'm going to use cat users.conf and we have our two users but actually file in this form it's not useful to our broker what we have to do we have to hash these passwords and uh, how to do that use sudo mosquito passwd provide command capital U and provide a path to your file for me it's users.conf all right, but I have to use, I have to change uh, mode of uh, this file to 777 in order to be accessible from uh, all users and of course path users.conf and now I'm going to repeat uh, this command, okay, and now I'm going to show you what we have in this file. And of course I have to provide sudo. So as you see we have our user names intact and our passwords are hashed and Mosquito uses SHA-512 algorithm in order to hash passwords and this is actually very useful for example if uh, some hacker break into your digital storage only thing that he could steal it's actually lists of hashes but no actual passwords now let's say that I want to remove some of these users let's say that I want to remove Mick how to do so I'm going to use our mosquito uh, passwd command but I'm going to use uh, uh, d instead of u and I'm going to provide path and finally I'm going to provide name of user that I want to eliminate so I want to eliminate Mick okay now let's see what we have in this file of course Mick it's eliminated now what if I want to add another user let me show you instead of D we are going to use small letter B of course we are going to provide a path to our file we are going to provide a name of our new user let's say Donny and the password is going to be also 4 times 0 all right let's see what we have in uh, our uh, file and we have both users now if you understand this part I'm going to clear my scre screen like this and now we are going to uh, open our configuration file mosquito.conf and in order to use our credentials we have to make some changes first we have to change this uh, allow anonymous to false uh, this line bind address is going to remain the same now we are going to use another line pair listener settings to true because now our settings are going to be applied uh, per every listener and another it's password file and provide path to your password file in my case it's uh, Etsy 
mosquito users.conf. All right. Now I'm going to uh, save all of this and I'm going to exit. And now what I want to show you, uh, before we restart our broker, uh, we actually can access our broker anonymously. So if I click on connect, I'm going to be able to connect to my broker. I'm going to disconnect now and now we are going to uh, restart our broker. Sudo systemctl restart mosquito. Okay, uh, now if I try to connect to my broker anonymously, I am not going to be able to do so. So I'm going to try now, and of course, connection refused. Uh, I have to uh, provide credentials of uh, one of those two users we just created. Uh, so uh, I'm going to connect as uh, John, and password is if I remember correctly four times zero or better let's use Donnie okay connect all right I'm connected so if I uh, send some message like hey and uh, topic let's call it topic publish all right so guys that's all for this episode thank you for watching I hope that you have learned something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya